guys, Addicting Arts here. I'm here today to bring you guys a new tips and tricks video. This tips and tricks, I'll be showing you guys how to create a bokeh effect. Uh, this uh, effect is very good for uh, layouts and backgrounds and such. Uh, I don't. Re it can be added to pictures and stuff, but for reasons that I haven't really used yet. So we're just going to begin by using Adobe Photoshop. I'm running CS4, so let's begin and go to File, New. And I'm going to create an image of 1280 by 720 and hit OK. I'm going to unlock the background layer by double clicking on it and then change the background to black. Now I'm going to create a new layer right above that and head over to my brush tool. I'm going to go to the standard default brush, which should be at the top of your br brush list. And I'm just going to click it, change the pixel size to 100, and make sure the hardness is at 100 also. And then just hit enter. On Adobe Photoshop CS5, the button you'll be looking for is one of the, th there should be three buttons right here. Look for one of those. It should be, if you highlight over it or hover over it, it should come up with a brush panel. But in CS4, or maybe just mine, it's right here. So we're going to head over to Shape Dynamics and change the size jitter all the way to 100. We're going to go to Scattering and change the scatter to about 500 to... 525%, but this is all about preference, so I'll let you guys uh, figure that out yourselves, but I, I'm just going to be using 500%. Now, for CS5, there should be uh, two more options down here, and I know they're not labeled Other Dynamics, but for Adobe Photoshop CS4, it's called Other Dynamics, and if you, are, if you do have CS5 or something different, just check one of these down here and see if it has Opacity and Jitter in it. So this is another one that's all about preference. Just uh, scroll through the different uh, settings in here and look at the little preview and see if you like it. So it's really all about what you like. I'm just going to, I think that looks good. So, and that's 60, 69%. So I'm just going to go down here and make a new brush by clicking this little button to the left of the trash can. And I'm going to name it Bokeh Effect Brush. Now I'm just going to exit out of the brush panel and on my new layer I'm going to change my foreground to white and you can begin using it so I'm just going to click once and click on the opposite end and it creates that nice little effect and you can also change if you're working on projects I suggest changing the opacity down or you can uh, yeah just change the opacity and if you're working on a pro different projects the layer setting overlay works a lot too um, in the description if you don't want to use this or if you don't want to make your own, I'm going to link you guys to three different screenshots you can use. There will be three different bokeh uh, screenshots. One will be a size about 50 pixels, one will be a size about 100 pixels, and the last will be 250. And uh, all you have to do is just open it up and set the layer style to screen and you can use it. So I hope this tips and I hope this tips and tricks did help you guys. If it did, please comment, like, and subscribe for me if you guys haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So yeah, guys, addicting arts.